this video, I'm going to explain you how CrowdStrike destroyed millions of computers all over the world and caused blue screen all of these computers. And um, it caused a lot of other problems like the, the business problems like finance and the flights and the medicine and all of the uh, world that has and use Windows computers in their business and stuff. So in this video, I'm going to explain you everything, what happens and what caused this actual blue screen that you see here from the CrowdStrike. So what is CrowdStrike Falcon? So CrowdStrike is a company that provides security to the devices all over the world. And it covers a lot of companies, a lot of uh, companies that create computers. And it has a, a software that is called Falcon. Falcon is the security software that is installed uh, on these devices. So basically it is a cloud native endpoint security. So it runs in the cloud and provides different services for all the devices that are connected in the in these endpoints. And it has a real time threat detection and lightweight agent on the endpoints. So this is how Falcon uh, actually works. So it's just connected to the different computers and runs in the cloud and sends packages directly and uh, and provides security for all of these endpoints in each device. So what went wrong? The corrupted update file has have caused one or more of these problems. So what happened is actually a new update, like all the softwares that update frequently, the CrowdStrike also updated Falcon in a certain time. And they sent the update, but this update had, had an error message or an error code or an error update. It was not a perfect update. And then it sent it out to, to all of these endpoints and all of these devices in the same time. So what happened, this caused an, one, of, one or more of these errors that are wrought here. And we have driver conflict with the Windows kernel, corruption of the critical system files, and registry changes causing instability. So uh, I'm going to explain all of them and what really happened to this update and what caused the blue screen error. So we impact on, uh, on the system. We have the kernel, which is the base software that connects uh, the hardware with the software that connects CPU, memory, graphic card, and everything that is hardware with the software, which is the operating system. And on this case, we have Windows. And also we have CPU and memory spikes and system crashes on BSOD, which I will explain what is that. So here is a diagram that explains everything so first we have software here and as i told you before you uh, like all the softwares the uh, everyone usually updates their softwares but this software had a bug and the bug went through the driver so the driver the like the mostly the security uh, softwares uh, installed driver in their your computer or your windows computer and when an update happens it's also the driver have to be updated so the bug went to the driver and is being updated to the driver but when an update of the driver happens driver is a really goes low in the level of the uh, computer so the built-in architecture of the computer it goes in a lower level than the software so it touches more on the low and more privileged things in your computer so uh, the driver, every time an update happens or a change happens, a driver changes or something changes in your Windows operating system, it is saved on the Windows registry. So Windows registry is a place or a database or a metadata place where are saved different information, different configuration and different everything you change in computer is being saved on the registry. And registry works in a very, very low level, as I told you before, on the computer. And uh, you, you might realize this when you maybe you have tried to make a changes on the registry, on one of the registry keys in your Windows computer. And it always warns you if you really want to make this change because it directly impact in a very low level in the component of your computer and operating system. So when an update on an error happens here, it goes directly on the lower level, which is the kernel. And the kernel, uh, like I told you, is the software that makes the connection between hardware and software and is very base and uh, base software in your computer and has the biggest privileges in your computer. And uh, during this time, the updates come and the error comes to the kernel, 
like the the computer overloads and it sees the error and tries to to give a response to that error and what the response is it sees that a lot of problems critical errors are happening and the the uh, a response on the windows computer it happens directly uh, because windows has a a self-protection thing that can uh, shut down everything and stop the critical errors to happen and what they do then they just go ahead and give a response to this or they shut down everything and on this case the response is just the blue uh, screen of death or the BSOD so this is how it caused this uh, blue screen here or the, the error message. So it just shut down everything to not lose the data is a self protective mechanism that Windows computers have. So the blue screen of death triggered by the kernel uh, error level errors, memory dump process or the error codes pointing to the driver issues. So when an error happens in the kernel level, it directly shows this blue screen and it shut down everything. And also we have memory dump process, with, which is a process that when an error happens uh, or there is an error in your computer, what the memory tries to do is to catch a dump of file of this state of the error and save it uh, for later so it can understand what the error was and how to fix it. But in this case, if the memory is overloaded or is uh, stressed or your computer is stressed with the error, it sometimes it just crashes everything and it just shows the blue screen of death. So error codes pointing to the driver issues also cause uh, this blue screen. So that was it. This is how this uh, error happened. And it, it might be a lot of other errors or the and problems that cause this, but mostly this is how it occurs. So um, like, a, a, like a summary that I did, like the most important thing is the kernel panic because uh, it when the error happens, the kernel directly panic and the driver cause a, a kernel panic due to the uh, invalid operation of the, and the conflicts. And also the memory dump that I explained to you before might cause this error and shut down everything. So it goes in very deep level on the low level or in their infrastructure of your computer. And when something is, is touched in the, in the low level of your computer parts and operating system, the windows just directly shut down everything and give this uh, blue screen of death. Bye.